A smiling Romeoville family gone in a series of near silent shots nearly three months ago. What happened to them? Who did it and why? Tonight, the I-Team has a better idea. After reviewing evidence we've been gathering for weeks and seeing information local police preemptively released today. Step out of your vehicle with your hands up. We begin at the end, 600 miles from Chicago on an Oklahoma highway. Police body cams with a manhunt coming to a fiery finish. I got door, do not see movement. Behind the wheel of this black GMC, Nathaniel Huey Jr., dead from a gunshot wound. Huey's fiance, Irma Linda Palomo, also shot and later dying. Tonight, Romeoville police say they both planned and carried out the killings of 32-year-old Alberto Rolone, his 38-year-old wife, Zoraida Bartolome, their two young boys, ages 7 and 9, and the family's three dogs. He was the shooter, they say, and she drove the getaway car. They say Huey Jr. had a relationship with the Romeoville mother who he murdered and carried out the crime with his current fiance. In September, an attorney representing Palomo's family was adamant, telling ABC7 she was not involved with the homicides. She's a victim. Um, just like the Romeville family is a victim. But now police tell us Palomo was never the endangered person that her family claimed in a police report during the manhunt. Tonight, the family said in a statement they had no previous knowledge that police considered Palomo a participant in a quadruple murder plot. And now new video obtained by the I-team shows what Palomo and Huey were doing less than an hour before the pursuit, fiery crash and shooting that ended with them both dead. They're holding hands. It's not an animated discussion. It looks like it looks like a conversation you'd have with a friend. ABC 7 police affairs consultant and former suburban police chief Bill Kushner watched Walmart video we obtained showing Huey and Palomo buying what appears to be a burner phone, hair dye and other cosmetics. What does this say to you? You're on the run. You, you don't want to be caught. You don't want to be found. If you're going to change your appearance, you know, th this is almost a Hollywood plot. This fugitive couple, laughing and looking relaxed, would themselves be dead in an hour. Romeoville police tonight say it will take weeks to determine all aspects of what happened to this family, including a complete description of the motive for murdering an entire family. Police tell the I-team they are still awaiting some forensic test results to close the case. Chuck Gowdy, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.